putting on an eyeliner actually humbles you you know even though i have been applying eyeliner for more than 10 to 12 years i still do it uneven like this Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be creating a very simple eye makeup where I'm going to concentrate only on the eyeliner and the kajal and what product that I use, which are quite affordable. So yeah, I have got quite a few questions about what eyeliner I use or what kajal I use. And uh, yeah, I just thought let me go ahead and make a video which probably is super beginner friendly and quite easy and quick as well. Okay, and there is like two things to bear in mind the first one is that i am using colored contacts and falsies so it does kind of help elevate the look a lot more so yeah that is that and the second point i wanted to mention is that you can use any product of your choice or your preference these are just the products that i currently like and i kind of prefer and it does the job like a charm it is quite long lasting as well and i'm a very lazy person i look into ways where i do not have to like touch up or do anything of that sort so yeah i just want to Mention, you can use whatever product that works for you so yeah these are the two things i wanted to mention and before we can get into the video if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video Okay, so I have a super zoom you guys in and I have already done the base makeup and I have done my eyebrows as well. Now for my eyelids, I have used the concealer and some loose powder to set it. And if you're interested, I have mentioned all the products on the description box below. You can check it out. Okay, so the first step is the eyeliner. And for my personal preference, I usually like a liquid eyeliner, which has a brush tip and it has to be bold, black and matte as well. Now my current favorite or it has been a favorite for a very long time is the Maybelline Colossal Bold Liner which is in this yellow color one and this is actually my third bottle I think so wait let me pick out the older one which is actually close to me right now so this is the older one which is actually over and I picked out a new one which is this one and uh, yeah I really like it it is affordable it is very easily available as well so let's get on with the eyeliner first and this is how the brush tip looks like Okay, so I'm just gonna hold my breath and uh, do my eyeliner first. So yeah, it does make a lot of difference. So it's not required, but I'm just gonna add one more coat very close to my lash line. So yeah, let's go with it. And for the other eye, It is quite uneven. Hmm. See, this is kind of thicker than this. Why did I just do that? Putting on an eyeliner actually humbles you. You know, even though I have been applying eyeliner for more than 10 to 12 years, I still do it uneven like this. And I'm just trying to fix it and I just hope I do not fuck it up. I think this is fine. And next up for my kind of favorite part is Kajal because I have been wearing it for the longest time even way before I could remember and I'm like the living proof of the toddler with a lot of Kajal. Like I will insert a picture you can see my first birthday I always have Kajal on and even if you see any of my videos I think almost all the videos I'm wearing Kajal. And also count the number of times I'm saying Kajal, my goodness. But yeah, I have three recommendations which I have been loving lately. And also my kind of a personal preference is usually a retractable types because I'm not the kind of person who will sit and sharpen and carry a sharpener around. And even when you sharpen it, it has that Kajal gunk on it and it becomes all messy. That gunk goes everywhere, everywhere. It's kind of blackish. It's a mess. It's just not my thing. So I kind of prefer a bit hassle free, which is the retractable types. And I have three recommendations with me, which I have been using currently and loving it as well. And that is the Nika Black Magic Kajal, as well as the Lakme Iconic Kajal, the normal one, as well as the Insta Cool one. So these are the three Kajals that I have been using lately. And I just keep 
whatever I can reach out to is what I use there's nothing like specific or particular now the insta cool one the only thing I really like is it does have a slight cooling sensation because I think it has camphor in it so out of the three a little bit more intense like slightly teeny tiny bit more intense and has a bit more longevity is the Nika one the black magic one and uh, slightly cooling sensation is the insta cool one and uh, just a good good old kajal is the lakme normal iconic one so in this video i think i will use the nika one on one eye and the insta cool lakme one on the other eye on my right eye i'm gonna use the nika one and uh, yeah a little bit on my upper waterline as well now what i do is i kind of go a little bit over my lower lash line it looks rough, it is okay, but this is what I do. And yeah, this is how it looks like. I'll come back to this eye. Now moving on to my left eye, I'm gonna use the Lakme Iconic Insta Cool one. And I'm gonna go a little bit over the lower lash line. And next part is the most important part where I use a brush to smudge the lower lash line or the kajal. And for that, the kind of brush that I use is these two kind. So these are the type of brushes that I use for smudging the kajal. Now this one right here, uh, this is nice. It's a good smudging kind of a brush. And this one, I use it especially when I have a particular eyeshadow that I want to dip and smudge. You can even do that. I just sometimes, uh, use just this brush alone and take my kajal and smudge it a bit and I will show you guys what a difference it makes now uh, these two brushes are actually from Aliexpress I got it ages back and it works like a charm I've never had an issue with it uh, I have washed them like multiple multiple number of times like I bought these like two or three years back and it's still working strong so it's pretty good uh, i will put recommendations in the description box below which is quite similar to these brushes there is another one which i cannot find at the moment which is much more finer than this one but if i do find it i will show it to you guys that one as well so as you guys can see it's a bit rough which is fine because we're gonna fix it and i just go with the same brush just around my lashes my lower lashes and smudge it there we go so you guys see the difference between this one and this one like just the smudging makes quite a bit of a difference now this technique is quite similar to the reverse cat eye makeup that i saw online which has been going viral it's just the same kind of a technique without the cat eye at the bottom and again you can use any eyeshadow if you want just dip the brush in that eyeshadow and do the exact same process it will give a beautiful look it's just that i'm doing it with nothing but just the kajal alone and yeah i'm gonna go over with this eye now so yeah actually that is it it's quite simple and easy and i'm just gonna quickly add some mascara lashes and some inner corner highlight and i will be right back so yeah this is how everything looks like so i've added a mascara my eyelashes and some inner corner highlight and this is how everything looks put together now just a quick fii i have not put any mascara on my lower lash line because it will anyways not be visible and i do not have much of lashes over there so yeah this is how everything looks like let me unzoom you guys and show you how it looks overall so yeah this is how the eye makeup looks like and like i mentioned before it is quite quick and simple and uh, again you could use any product of your preference or your liking and uh, even the technique it could be any which ways that you can do it this since it was quite requested is why i thought let me do it and uh, again another simple hack which i forgot to mention for smudging your kajal you can use even a cotton bud it's quite a popular hack and it's pretty well known as well so yeah you can do the exact same thing just by using a cotton 
Russian bud and whatever kajal that you prefer or you like. Okay, so I was filming a couple of videos and I think it has been about seven to eight hours since I applied the kajal. I have not yet done any touch up on the kajal part of it or the eyeliner or anywhere close to my eyes. So let me zoom you guys in and show you how it looks because I am going to do a touch up right now since I am going to film another video. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Please ignore my oily face, but it still looks not that bad. Like if I have to be outside, like, I don't know, somewhere else, then I wouldn't even you know bother with any touch up but since i am going to film another video i'm going to do it but all i'm going to do right now is just fill in in the waterline part of it and uh, that is about it probably just smudge it a little bit more in the corners because i see there is this line that has been made that always happens with any kajal no matter what and just the ends alone i'll probably touch it up a bit but yeah this is how it looks after seven to eight hours and personally, it doesn't look that bad at all. So yeah.